Thousands of handwritten Bibles were produced in the monasteries of medieval Europe. The invention of printing in the 15th century saw the work of the monastic scribe gradually die out. It is the Benedictines of Minnesota who have revived this ancient practice. They decided they wanted to commission a handwritten Bible as a statement of their faith. It would be in the great tradition of the monastic Bibles written by scribes in the Middle Ages, but it would be a Bible in English, not Latin. It would be a Bible for the 21st century, welcoming to people of other faiths, and it would be an illuminated Bible. A Christian community, a monastery, hasn't done this in 500 years. There's nothing in print that compares with a handwritten Bible. Uh, the, the words on the page have a three-dimensional feel to them. The size of the thing, um, the density of it, the mass of illumination, the, the, uh, the scope of the enterprise is absolutely dazzling. feeling that maybe somebody's going to see that I, I'm not really an artist. This challenge is going to be too big, I'm going to be humiliated. There is always that sense of dread in the middle of the night, and you have all these fears, self-doubt. The scribe whom the monks chose was artist Donald Jackson, a professional calligrapher and illuminator who works with a team in his studio or scriptorium near Monmouth in Wales. The pen used by scribes for over 2,000 years is a feather from a swan, a goose, or a turkey. It's responsive, and it's capable of picking up emotions from inside me and putting them on that page. Get a big brush and just put it on there and get a feeling for what's going on, feeling for what we want to say, sort of body of it. The sketch is the first stage in the creation of a whole page illumination for the Bible. It's difficult to explain, but it's something you feel. I mean, the whole meaning of illumination, the whole definition of the word is the play of light on gold. And the new Bible has a very contemporary message of forgiveness. And in this parable. I just included a momentary reference to the Twin Towers and the message is, like the father in the prodigal son, you have to love your way out of this one. You can't hate your way out of it. And that is the first letter of the Old Testament. Finished. The basic art of the calligrapher is making letters and experimenting with different shapes and forms. The illuminator decorates the page with gold and colors. All I can say is that I hope that some of the emotion that we have collectively managed to put into it will, like the beatings of our own individual hearts, touch the hearts and emotions of those people who open these big wooden boards and look at what we've done on the pages. <laughs>